on data, find a six trig function value. So I'm just going to copy the one we have down there. So let's consider a very famous right triangle. It's your three, four, five right triangle. And this will be our alpha up here, and we'll have beta right there. And so what we're going to do is we're going to find all six trig function values for each one. We'll do the alphas together, and then I'll have you do the betas. Did I switch on the paper? All right. What, the alpha and beta? Look at that. Oh, I moved them both. Oh, I left our race one. I loved you most of all. All right. So beta's up there. All right, and then, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh. All right, thank you. Sorry about that. I thought I made them the same. Okay, so, so Katoa. So let's talk about sine. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so we're only looking at alpha. So what side is opposite of alpha? Three, and what's the hypotenuse? Five, so sine would be three-fifths, three over five. Now, if the fraction does reduce, you should reduce your fractions. This one doesn't. Is that okay? Cosine would be the leg, the leg, not the hypotenuse, that is adjacent to alpha. So what leg is adjacent to alpha? And what's the hypotenuse? So four over five. Good. Tangent, opposite of alpha. Ta uh, adjacent of alpha. Good. Yep. Cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. The reciprocal of sine would be 5 over 3. The reciprocal of cosine will be secant, which would be 5 over 4. And the reciprocal of tangent would be cotangent. 4 over 3. Good. If you would, please do the same for the betas. All right, sine of beta, opposite of beta is, yeah, and the hypotenuse would be five, so four fifths. Good, I know everyone's channeling their answers to one person, but let's try to disperse it. Cosine of beta, three fifths, good. How many people do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, everyone should take one, tangent of beta, Four thirds. Good. Cosecant. The cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. Five fourths. You took two. Secant is the reciprocal of cosine. Five thirds. And cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent. Three fourths, and now say that Brishy. Three quarters. Yeah. Harry Potter, no one. Not in three quarters, no. No. Okay, that's okay. All right. We'd like you to do it again. We'll just do it for Alpha. I'm gonna just make one change. All three of them. Instead of three, four, five, six, eight, ten. So if you would uh, do find the six trig functions just for alpha. Oh, oh, you know what? I'm gonna keep this up here because I forgot to say something. If you experience any form of deja vu, it's completely normal. Well, right now at least. 
You guys notice for the sign of alpha, opposite of alpha would be what? And the hypotenuse is, and that reduces to three fifths, which is what we had previously. So notice all I did was I just doubled the size of the sides, which means they're what type of triangles? What's that math term? So the angles didn't change, just the sides. Sides. Hmm? No. Rhymes with minimal, no, not minimaler. Yeah, minimaler will work. Similar, they're similar triangles. So for similar triangles, you have the same, you will have the same six trick functions uh, because the angles have not changed. You will have the same six trick functions, period. That's all I'm gonna say. All right, we're better now. Questions, comments, as stated before, Alpha plus beta should add up to what? Nine degrees. It is not coincidence that the sine of alpha, three fifths, is equal to the what of beta? What else equals three fifths? Cosine. So these two are the same. How about the cosine of alpha? Yeah, the cosine of alpha is the sine of beta. And the tangent of alpha is the, careful, don't use that word inverse. Um, what's the name though? So the tangent of alpha is the cotangent of beta. So I'll say it again. The side of alpha is the cosine of beta. The cosine of alpha is the sine of beta. The tangent of alpha is the cotangent of beta. So there's a uh, prefix there that keeps occurring. What's that? Co. So this pre uh, prefix co Hmm, there's something going on there. I wonder what it is. If this were a 1920 serial, you'd hear, stay tuned for next week for, but you don't hear that now because class isn't over just yet. So, sorry guys.